So in this particular situation, we find our athlete in the supine position and uh, we wanna make sure that we uh, stabilize the head and neck. Uh, we're gonna put, them, uh, put him onto the spine board, uh, but we find ourselves limited in actually uh, people. Uh, and so the, uh, if you do not have enough to do the lift technique, uh, we would do the roll technique. And so here we have um, a minimum of five people to be able to do this. So with the individual, we uh, find them uh, suspecting a spinal trauma. So we want to check on them, make sure that they don't have any um, uh, uh, breathing or cardiac conditions. So we're going to call 911 and make sure that EMS has been activated. I'm going to come in and do my inline stabilization, making sure that uh, he is nice and secure. What we're going to do is we're going to roll him towards our help and then roll him back down onto the board. So as I'm stabilizing, I'm going to communicate one, two, three, roll. We're going to roll on roll, and then I'm going to say one, two, three, down, and we're going to bring him back down on down. So we've got our help here, so they're going to come in and grab on and secure at the shoulders, at the hip, and at the legs. They're going to roll towards them as opposed to away from them. And so one, two, three, roll. The board gets placed and slid in. And we're going to go one, two, three, down. And if we find the individual not 100% center on the board, what we're going to do is we're going to uh, slide him directly over using that same V technique that we did in with the other ones. We're going to go one, two, three, down. One, two, three, down. And one, two, three, up. Once he's fully secured on the board, we're going to strap him up, making sure that his shoulders, waist, and legs are fully secured to the board. We're also going to secure his helmet directly to the board. Once he's fully secured, then we can transport. <laughs>